This is Newberry Park, a fairly populated but nicely spread out area in California. It's also home to the self-titled high school that has a fairly strong cross-country program at the moment. The year is 2017, and they finished top 10 at their division mate, making their name known in the California region as a force to be reckoned with, especially with a good portion of the runners being underclassmen. What their coach, their team, and especially the rest of the nation wasn't expecting was perhaps the single most explosive spreader performances in high school cross-country history. This is the story of the best high school boys cross-country team ever, Newberry Park. At the very beginning of every cross-country season, Dystat, a popular high school running site, traditionally releases their preseason rankings for each region and then does it for the national level. California is classified as its own region due to how competitively dense it is, but Newberry Park still managed to find themselves on the top five list, tied for fifth, as the team had a promising top 10 placement at their state meet with almost all of them being underclassmen, combined with rising star Nico Young that had a fantastic track season leading up. They opened up their season with a league meet win and some solid three mile times across the board, especially junior Nico Young who ran 14.44 for a 34-second PR. Soon enough, the team would go up against Californian Titans Great Oak at one of the biggest meets in the state, the Woodbridge Cross Country Classic. While Newberry Park wasn't able to put a dent into Great Oak's sheer dominance, Nico Young would have a massive breakout performance taking the individual title, while the rest of the squad came in with massive personal bests as well. Needless to say, this single race put Nico and the rest of the team on the map outside of their home state, as in the national ranking updates, they debuted at the number 12 spot to start posing as a major threat to the scene. They also replicated another second place at another major Cali meet, which was the Clovis invite. Soon enough, after winning their league meet with 20 points and their division meet by a notable margin, they would enter the top five spot in the nation after consistently finding themselves just outside the top 10 for every other ranking update. Since they didn't have to face Great Oak at the state meet, they were able to squeeze out a state title as a team and were officially able to tackle the best of the best at Nike Cross Country Nationals, the most competitive XC meet you could possibly run at. With it being hosted in California for the first time ever, the boys had a home crowd and a ton of momentum going into the race. They're through the first mile in seventh place and sixth by the second mile, and with Nico securing a nice fourth place on the individual side, this gave ample opportunity for Newberry to maintain their position and were now ranked the sixth best cross-country team in the nation as a result. With the Newberry Park boys going strong through their track season, they debuted their spot in the 2019 national preseason rankings at number four, but still second in the region to Great Oak. However, Newberry Park had an ace in their sleeve, or rather pocket aces, as Nico's younger brothers, Lex and Leo, had their three mile debut. Leo opened up with an impressive 1545, but then Lex ran 1442, almost winning the stacked invite amidst the junior and senior heavy field. The veterans of the crew waited until the Woodbridge Classic to test their legs, and not only did they blow their expectations out of the water, it resulted in one of the fastest three-mile races ever run. We got an update from the mile in the boys' Street stakes race. As expected, running alone. Come on, Nico! Come on, Matt! Keep up the pace! Get faster! Yes! <laughs> Newberry Park absolutely demolished the rest of the field, getting only 38 points, and Nico Young went on to run the new national three-mile high school record with a time of 1339.7. This single race convinced the rest of the nation that Newberry Park were going to be the ones to watch this year, but this didn't come without Great Oak swinging back, beating them at the Clovis invite, knocking them back down to the second place spot. The two teams would not face off for the next few weeks, and not even at their state meet, since again, they competed through different divisions. Newberry Park won their state meet quite easily with 37 points, and coincidentally, Nike Cross Nationals would yet again be hosted in California for the two teams to properly face off. A part of the country that isn't necessarily known for... And the gun is off in the 2019 Nike Cross Nationals boys race is underway.
It's anything but sunshine in Cali for this meet, as the course is drenched, there's mud everywhere. It's the most quintessential cross-country weather you can think of. Nico Young wastes no time gapping the rest of the field as a couple minutes pass by, and at the mile mark, Newberry finds themselves virtually tied with number 3 ranked Corner Canyon from Draper, Utah. Soon enough, Newberry Park ends up having a 12-point lead, but not without Great Oak making up a 100-plus point deficit to throw themselves back into the mix as well. National races like these are highly susceptible to massive point changes, since all it takes is one runner to fall back a few seconds, which in this case can very well equate to 10 to 20 runners depending on your spot. As Nico Young came in to win his first national title to cap off his senior year, it was all up to the rest of the Newberry squad to get the rest of the points, and as they tallied everything up, it was looking to be a close one. Just four points separating first and second. Our 2019 NXN Runners up with 132 points. Temecula. And congratulations to our 2019 NXN champions, Newberry Park. Newberry Park had won a national title over Great Oak by four points. Great Oak displayed fantastic coherency with their whole team sticking together, but Young and Ash Brunner's performances were able to allow the rest of the Newberry boys to get just enough points to take it all home. Unfortunately, the 2020 season would be done entirely virtually due to COVID, so they wouldn't have a chance to defend their title, and they'd have to wait and see if next year's season was open for business. Thankfully, this was exactly the case, and not only did the team have an extra year to fully hone their fitness, they had what was apparently looking to be a team somehow twice as good as the last one they had. Despite the departure of two key senior runners, the national preseason rankings for 2021 still had Newberry Park back at number one, along with five of their teammates appearing in the top 40. Four of these would be split between two sets of brothers, Nico Young's brothers, Junior's Lex and Leo, and then there's the Salmons, which were Colin and Aaron, with Daniel Appleford capping off the rest of the team. The team made their debut with a perfect score at one of their league meets, and looking at the times, it looked like more of a tempo effort to gear up for or, you guessed it, the Woodbridge Cross Country Classic, the same course where Nico ran his national record. The goal was quite simple, go out guns blazing and see how long you can hold it. Given the precedent Nico set for this course for how fast a high schooler can really go, it wasn't too surprising to see a Newberry Park athlete come through in 432. And by an athlete, I really mean four of them. The mile marker appears to be a bit off in the second mile, but from their stride, it's obvious they're looking strong going into the last mile and potentially threatening Nico's record. Seeing four Newberry Park boys coming down the straightaway with the clock still well within the 13 minute zone was out of this world to process. And when you see them come through the final shoot, it's no surprise why people were thinking that. Newberry Park finished the meet with 25 points and had four guys under 1350, Leo Young being the one to break his older brother's record by a second and a half with 1338.1. This was peak high school cross country, and it was only the middle of September too. Needless to say, the next national rankings update obviously had them at number one, but what was more impressive was the fact that the brothers took up four of the top 10 spots in the individual standings. The boys went on to win the Clovis invite with 19 points and then won their state meet with only 16 points. Shea and Mountain, the second ranked team in the nation, was looking strong in their respective region, but they simply weren't stacking up against Newberry Park on an athlete-by-athlete -athlete basis. Interestingly enough, Nike opted out of hosting their national event, which led the new host of such a prestigious tradition up for speculation. Thankfully, Running Lane took it over to host it in Alabama, and this course appeared much quicker than Nike's Californian one, so not only was it going to be a competitive race, but it might end up being a blistering fast rendezvous as well. Here we go. Championship race, final race of the day. The boys' gold championship race here at Running Lane is off.
If there's anything the Newberry Park boys are good at, it's making the rest of the field as uncomfortable as possible from the get-go, and that became apparent when they led the stacked field through the first mile in 429. The Young and Salman brothers are up at the front and are still looking more than composed halfway through the race, two miles in, and virtually nothing has changed. This is looking like a league meet to them at this point, and the field is much more strung out now. Aaron Salman is the first one to fall off a bit around 12 minutes in, but Colin and the Young brothers remain at the front as they begin to pull away. They know they've already won the meet at this point with three at the front striding in with no one contesting them, but when you end up seeing the final results, it's almost impossible to put into words just what they actually pulled off. Twenty nine points at a national meet, not a state meet, not a regional meet, but at a national tier meet. The only team to have ever pulled off a score this low was Fayetteville Manalis at NXN 2010. But the way Newberry Park did it showcased a combination of speed and dominance that has never been seen before. Four guys went under 14.15 for 5,000 meters, and all seven other guys went under 15. They put an absolute clinic on an absurdly competitive field, and they also ran some of the fastest 5Ks in high school cross-country history. As of writing this, the Newberry squad yet again enters their next year as the number one ranked team of the nation, but most of their top dogs unfortunately didn't run at the Woodbridge invite, so we have yet to see them in full form at a competitive field. It'll certainly be an exciting endeavor to witness when they do, because a third consecutive title will certainly cement their spot further into the cross-country history books, so we'll see you in a few months if they happen to deliver yet again a fantastic, sport-altering showdown for the country. This is the story of Newberry Park, and thanks for watching. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel, and if you want to see more track and field content like this, come on over and become a patron, drop a sub, and peep the Instagram too. I'll see you on whatever video I upload next, and take care.